Okay. Thank you for being here. Please tell us, what is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Anna Sutherington and I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, Anna. And um, how long have you been working with the Inca tradition? Uh, well, there's been some discussion about that. We've been trying to remember when we began, but we think it's 11 or 12 years ago. Okay, yeah. okay. that's also quite a while. Yes. <laughs> and uh, what do you like about the Inca tradition? Everything. <laughs> uh, I like the playfulness. Uh, the fact that it's not, uh, it's not rigid at all. You know, there, there are no real rules. There is one single law, but that's a universal law. It's more of a description of how things work rather than you must do this, you know. And um, it's helped me in every facet of my life in a very simple, easy, quick way. And with playfulness and joy. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds very good. So what do you think it can do for other people? A lot, actually. Um, one thing that I've noticed is that it's fantastic for stress reduction mm -hmm. in daily life. And you can just very, very easily and very quickly get rid of a lot of the stress. And just become more balanced and focused in, in your daily life. Whether it's in social settings or at work. Um, just two seconds and you're just more grounded and more focused, which is really nice. Um, also good for general well-being, I think, uh, both physical and mental and emotional, because the, the traditions tools work on all those levels at once. And you can go very, very deeply, or if you want to, you can just skim the surface. So it's your choice, you know? Um, I also think it's very good for relationships. It can bring people closer, uh, make people more accepting of each other, even though you're different. And it has tools for actually working with differences and having that as the basis for a good relationship rather than similarities. Um, also, it takes away a lot of fear. It um, takes away the drama of things, you know? Uh, because the things that we describe as heavy energy, uh, it's not negative, it's not evil, it's not bad. It's just standing still. So if you just get it moving again, then you're fine. And that also means that you don't have to protect yourself from anything. And that reduces fear. You can just let it slide right through and just release it to Mother Earth. As a gift, it's an offering. And that again sends the message that there's something positive about this. And we can deal with it. And I like that very much. Wow, yeah. yes, you can tell you like it a lot. <laughs> I do. <laughs> And um, what, does, what do you need to do in your daily life in order to get all these benefits? You Not very much, actually. That's the brilliance of it. Uh, generally, I tend to just take, uh, if things are in the ordinary way, I just tend to take a couple of minutes when I'm brushing my teeth in the morning uh, to just basically release some heavy energy and to pick up some strengthening energy. And that gets me going throughout the rest of the day. And then if I run into specific situations where I need something more, then I have very effective, very simple, very quick tools to do that. And that's on a as-needed basis, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, Anna. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Contribution. <laughs>